Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Nick. This is my mom, Jen. Hi guys. And today we are watching Apollo 13. Yes, and I've seen this once long time ago, so I don't remember a lot of it. And you've never seen it. I, so, no, I yeah. know that it's based on the real life uh, Apollo mission. Yeah. Um, it's the and then it's real names. And... Um, <laughs> the first thing I thought of was Ross. Remember when he, he gave that the rocket to Chandler? That's oh, like a gift friends. idea. Yeah. It's like a, your love sends me to the moon. It's like, well, no, yeah, the Apollo whatever didn't actually land on the moon. Yeah. But you could say it it let me orbit the moon twice and return <laughs> safely. Because <laughs> I know that this is the one where like stuff goes wrong and they have to kind of yeah they don't move heaven and earth to yeah to bring them back. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's Tom Hanks and then uh, Kevin Bacon, like you said, yeah. and um, Bill. What's his name? Oh, Bill Paxton. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Game over, man. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm excited based just on the on that cast. You know, seeing those guys in their prime. Yeah. Bill Paxton is such a huge part of my childhood. So, you know, I I, I miss him every day. Yeah. So it's always... I don't know. Did Ron? Ron Howard? Did he direct this one? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I wouldn't be surprised. You mm -hmm. know, he he his career flourished like so hard after. Yeah. He went I just into... read about him this morning, and he said he doesn't really watch his movies. It's been like years since he's seen Splash and stuff. Wow. I don't know. I direct it. Well, mind you, you're in it. I mean, you would right? see it like maybe opening night, but then yeah, afterwards, but, yeah. Years down the road, you'd think you'd sit back and watch it. Mm -hmm. But then you'd see all the faults, probably, and all the things that went wrong or should have been. Or, I yeah. Guess. I guess so, yeah. Right. Maybe like your your experience making it would alter your yes, enjoyment of enjoyment it. enjoyment of it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you sure. know, so, like for some of our videos on the channel, like if there's excessive copyright claims or if, if mm. just I have like a, a rough period, like editing or whatever, Sometimes that can affect my mem memory or enjoyment of a movie. So it's kind of well, yeah, interesting that way. Yeah, like like yeah. all this other emotional kind of association, mm -hmm. which has been an interesting experience since yeah, we started right. the, the channel. Before that, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now it's got a killer cast. Yeah. I've heard about this movie for years. Uh, it, you know, supposedly it's it's really, really good, mm -hmm. according to Mum. So without further ado, let's get watching. And after that sudden and horrible fire on the launch pad during a routine uh, test that killed American astronauts. Oh, yeah. I just read about that yesterday. They all got trapped in there. Ugh. Russians to the moon. But tonight, a mere 18 months after the tragedy of Apollo 1, the entire world watched in awe as Neil Armstrong. Oh. Eh. Uh. There he is. Oh, oh, oh. Is that true? Absolutely. And, and, and Tracy, I'll tell you, when you feel that thing slide in, everything's clicking. It's like no other feeling in the world. Oh, Gary Sinise. Yeah. <laughs> Ed Harris, of course. Yeah. Well, hello. There he is. Look how young he is. Yeah. God, who would? That's such a shame about his son. Yeah. No, no, he, he, he's still has time to get out of there. Just need somebody to wave him off. Wave him off now! Because they want to be first. Yeah. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And a great number of people will say it never happened, eh? Yeah, the whole thing was just a hoax, you know. They brought in yeah. Stanley Kubrick to direct, you know. The <laughs> moon landing was never real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just 60 nautical miles down. And it was like I could just step out and walk on the face of it. I can't imagine what that's like, eh? I, yeah. Jim, can I have a minute? Something's come up. Oh, sure. You, uh, Ooh. Henry? Well, I was thinking uh, there might be a slight change in destination. Maybe say the moon. <gasps> huh? <laughs> Dad, can I please wear this? Sure. Jim. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> They're not rushing things, are they? I mean, you're going to be ready in six months? We'll be ready. Boy, I wouldn't want to be around Al Shepard tonight. Ugh. <laughs> I'm going to walk on the moon, Marilyn. I know. Can't believe it. Mm. Naturally, it's 13. Like oh, uh, yeah, all right. Clear. Three months. Houston, I'm going to reset the high gain. I've got the mm -hmm. target back in the reticle. Yeah, it's all practice, eh? Until something goes wrong, I guess. Yep. Ten feet. Caption. That's oh. it. I am a leaf on the wind. <laughs> nice job, Jim. That's three hours of boredom, followed by seven seconds of sheer terror. <laughs> My rate of turn is still a little too slow there. I really think we should work it again. 
Well, let's get it right. Okay, set yeah. it up again, Frank. You guys get out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we got a problem. No two oh. Someone having a nightmare? Oh, maybe. Oh. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that would be your worst nightmare, eh? Everything going wrong and. Oh. Jesus. Uh. Whoa. Is that Marilyn? Oh, she's the one that's. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh no. He stalled it. Oh. Uh. Second time it's done that. That's not like an omen or anything. <laughs> I'm thinking about not mm. going to the launch. The kids need me at home, honey. Marilyn, we've had these kids for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna miss a hell of a show. Come on, she knows it means the world to him, right? Mm -hmm. But it's hard for her. Yeah. It's not like a normal job where he's just a pilot going, you know, flying flights and not home for a while. Yeah, flying to Europe and back in a week yeah. or whatever. Hmm. Hmm. So, the number 13 doesn't bother you. Only if it's a Friday, Phil. They should just skip that number and... Yeah. <laughs> like in a lot of elevators or buildings, they don't have a 13th floor. A lot of older buildings, yeah. like hotels, never had a 13th floor. Yeah. Jim, we've got a problem. I just got uh -oh. some blood work back from the lab. Charlie Duke has the measles. Oh. Uh. We've all been exposed to it. Well, I've had uh. the measles. Ken Mattingly hasn't. Uh-oh. Ken Mattingly will be getting seriously ill precisely when you and Hayes will be ascending from the lunar surface to rendezvous with him. Jim, that's a lousy time for a fever. Uh, now, right, now look, Jack Swigert has been out of the loop for weeks. He's fully qualified to fly this mission. He's a fine pilot. Kevin Bacon. Oh, gotcha. Jim, if you hold out for Ken, you will not be on Apollo 13. It's your decision. All the six, eh? Uh, Got no say in the matter. Yeah. Guess what? Yes, <laughs> yes sir. In two days? Uh, I understand. Yeah, we just had that video last night about the Footloose High School. And oh, him yeah. coming back for yeah. their, their prom. Their prom, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah well so disappointing oh yeah look i don't have the measles i'm not gonna get the measles yeah i've never had that either have i the measles no yeah or chicken pox no good thing you're not going up into space <laughs> Or three G's. Five G's. We're coming in too steep. Uh, We're at eight G's. Nine. That's a little too fast. Yeah. We're at twelve G's. Twelve G's. We're running up. How you feeling, Fredo? Char broiled. <laughs> they don't have the rhythm with him yet, and she's probably super nervous. Mm-hmm. Well, there's so much pressure on each yeah. and every one of these guys, yeah. you know? Well, we have two days. We'll be ready. Let's do it again. What other option do you have? Yeah. You made me change, you yeah, know, so... Yeah, right, yeah. We're gonna make it work. Did she come? She came. Ah. Uh, yeah. How could she not? Yeah. Are there kids there? She's not coming to the launch. I heard it was gonna be a hell of a show. So who no. told you that? Some guy I know. <laughs> you hear about Ken? Yeah. It doesn't really raise her confidence anymore no. or, you know, assuage her fear. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> oh. oh, no, 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 no. Turn the water off. Uh. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, you're not getting it out like that. No, I need to call a plumber. Omens, omens. Ugh. Okay. Just like uh, Ralphie and Randy and oh, yeah. Christmas Story. Getting ready for deep, winter. Extended deep sea diving. Oh, yeah. 
You have to just stay calm all the time so you don't panic or... Pretty cool, eh? Mm-hmm. Copy that. This is from your wife, Chief. Thank you, Tom. I know that voice. Yeah. Mission control. Charge there at mission control, yeah. Oops. Very, very <laughs> dapper. Yeah. <laughs> We're go fly. Guidance. Guidance go. Surgeon. Go fly. Ecom. We're go fly. GNC. We're oh, there's Clint over yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. It's so disappointing. And this could possibly be like the last mission yeah. they ever send up, you yeah. know? Have it like just snatched away from you would be just infuriating. Especially if you don't get sick, right? Because we don't know yet if he's got, mm -hmm. got the measles or not. Hell, he lost his legs in Vietnam. Yeah. Measles is nothing. That's true. <laughs> yeah. There's so many different hurdles they have to get over, right? Mm -hmm. Before they even get close to the moon. Or... Yes. Yeah, gotta break free of the Earth's gravity first. Yeah, right. <laughs> Because part of it breaks away when they get up there, right? Mm-hmm, like the launch Whatever it was launch to boost capsule, them up, yeah. Boosters and... Ooh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't be air sick and do this job. Le moteur. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to her. Yeah. There it goes. <laughs> Can we just have a word with you? Yes. Remember, if you're proud, happy, and thrilled. How are you feeling? Well, very proud and. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, Jesus, all over. Oh no. Uh, uh, don't look, yeah. Fred, are you okay? You got a bag. <sighs> Odyssey, your go for pyro arm and docking. Repeat, go for docking, and we recommend you secure cabin pressurization. Oh, that guy. Yeah. He was Thomas Wayne and Joker. Oh, right. Yeah. Houston, we've got a good separation. Oh. Odyssey. I thought that was too noisy or something. <laughs> we confirm that, 13. Okay, we're going to start to pitch around to line up with the limb. Remember in uh, Galaxy Quest when L Laredo was first taking it out? He pressed like one button and he was all. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> if ever a time to get it right, eh? Come on, Rookie, park that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the beer bottle. Yeah, that's right. And a little there. Got it. Caption. That's it. Houston, we have hard dock. Roger, understand. Okay. Good job. Yeah. Jack and I will eat. Hey, I'm hungry. Are you sure? <laughs> I could eat the ass out of a dead rhinoceros. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Here it comes. The constellation Urion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like in the uh, Telus World of Science, they have like a little kind of space area. Yeah. And, like, yeah. There's a, you can kind of like get sit and like mount yourself like, oh, kind of cool. on the, like the little pump or hose that they use. And, yeah. Provide you with the appropriate background music. So, uh, hit it there, Fredo. Hello, world. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, was supposed to be the theme to 2001 uh -huh. in honor of our command module Odyssey, but there seems to have been a last minute change in the. <laughs> hey, Marilyn. Where's their broadcast? All the networks. Nobody don't gives pass. a shit. One of them said we made fun of the moon the, about a they land on, yeah. trip to Pittsburgh. Mm. My son's supposed to be on. He's an Aww. Oh, yeah, cold case. It's that damn TV guide again. Oh, damn. I can't even watch. If anyone from the, uh, from the IRS is watching, I forgot to file my, my, my 1040 return. Of That's no joke. They'll jump on him. <laughs> and if I don't pay up, I'll go to jail for tax evasion. <laughs> I'm crazy enough to take on Batman, but the IRS, no, thank you. 
Okay, uh, we'll head back up the uh, tunnel now and back into the Odyssey. I'd love to know how they filmed it to make it look like zero G. Yeah. Stand by one, Houston. Uh oh. Gotcha. <laughs> Fred Hayes on the cabin repress valve. He really gets our hearts going every time with that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you could uh, give your oxygen tanks a stir. Uh oh. Here we go. Okay. Oh. oh shit. Hey, we've got a problem here. Houston? Yeah. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. There it is. Yep. Or are we looking at real power loss here? It's, it's reading a quadruple failure. That can't happen. It's, it's got to be instrumentation. Let's get that hat button. The limb might have been hit by. That can't happen. No, say that. Eh? Mm hmm. Did you say switch to Omni Bravo? Uh, Roger, and the signal strength it's on the high gain fighting me. What's the down. story here, Jack? Gosh, keeping your wits about, eh? Ugh. And trying to, you know, think, think. What's this, this, this? Maybe this is a caution and warning. Failure. Houston, we are venting something out into space. That's never good. No. Well, there goes some of their oxygen. Give me an alarm. Okay, okay, let's have everybody into a four levels check. Okay, now let's start right back on it. Yeah, and without visual right into the seeing what happened, they just have to guess and mm -hmm. this number here is red. Yeah. So that could mean, you know. Quiet down. Quiet down. Let's stay cool, people. Ed Harris has spoken. <laughs> let's work the problem, people. Let's not make things worse by guessing. Oh, he's the perfect choice yeah. for that role. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to have power much longer. The ship's bleeding to death. Oh. Uh, look at that, eh? Yeah. Um, Flight, I recommend we uh, shut down the reactant valves of the fuel cells. Gene, the Odyssey is dying. From my chair here, this is the last option. So they're not going to make the moon. Yeah. Do you copy, Jim? Yes, Houston, we copy. We don't have much choice. Mm-hmm. Oh, to see all the disappointment on his face, yeah. Yeah. Well, like they said in Shawshank, get busy living or get busy dying. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, Still going down. Shit. Oh, no. Fredo, how long does it take to power up the limb? Three hours by the checklist. We don't have that much time. Let me start yeah. now, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, we gotta transfer all control data over to the LEM computer before the command module dies. Lunar module just became a life bulb. <laughs> wow. Before they power down. All right, all right, I got it, I got it. Hold on. Houston, our computer is up. Roger that, stand by for God, you gotta do the hard math. Ugh. While you're trying to keep calm. Oh. Man, I could never be an astronaut that way. <laughs> you know. My math is shit. <laughs> Three dudes carry the two. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Good here. Your math good is Andy. good. Okay, we'll go on those numbers. You're good. Jack. Log him in, Fredo. Jack. Genius girl watchers who put on Aww. Con Edison helmets and dig trenches in the street to get a... Got a suspicion <laughs> they'll have to I call them in here to either talk them through something or... Uh... Three million fewer viewers watched the uh, space shot than did the last one. Oh, no. Uh, I talk, uh, um, uh, just pulling ABC no! Oh, he missed it. God damn it. Oh no. Are making their way through the tunnel to the lunar module, using it as a lifeboat, so they'll have electrical power for their radios on the command module. Ironically, this will probably get them more views than the well, will. regular transmission yeah. would. No, don't give me that NASA bullshit. I want to know what's happening with my husband. Right, we want to switch control to the Aquarius now. NASA bullshit. Nothing you can do by staring at the TV. Yeah. Jeffrey. Hmm. Why are there so many people here? I seen him in another movie, that little boy. Of what it is. He was smaller. Yeah. Younger. He said he was going to get me a room up. Right. Something broke on your daddy's spaceship. How about daddy just comes back home? That's enough of a gift, right? Yeah. Was it the door? Oh, oh no. Oh. See how it can change in a split second, though, eh? Yep. 
Yeah, whether you're out in the ocean or up in space, you know, yeah. one one little thing goes wrong, yeah. everything goes wrong. Yeah. Hmm. Overhead projector. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, sorry, but we'll get somebody to look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about time, not whether or not oh. these guys... Oh, I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you. Hey, hold it. Let's hold it down. Let's hold it down, people. The only... I love how he doesn't have to shout. Yeah. Like, he just talks and they, yeah. they stop. Yeah. He specifically wanted a quote from a flight director. Who wanted a quote? The president. The president? Nixon. He wants odds. Oh, jeez. Odds. Same odds of him having a full term as president. That's right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pick you back up, we will have your PC plus two burn data. Okay, roger that, Houston. We'll hear from you again at acquisition. Oh, uh, it's like you could just... It's right there. Touch it. Yeah. Just like last time. Hmm. He's something. Yeah. Yeah, and because the moon has very, very little to no atmosphere, those footprints are they like from, from Buzz Aldrin. Yeah. They're still there. Yeah. And they, they'll they be there for eternity. Yeah. You know? So you're telling me you can only give our guys 45 hours? That brings them to about there. No. Uh, that's not enough. Gentlemen, that's not acceptable. They probably haven't slept in a long time, eh? At that rate, in 16 hours, the batteries are dead, not 45. And so's the crew. We got to get them down to 12 amps. 12 amps? How many? You can't run a vacuum cleaner on 12 amps, John. Oh, God. <laughs> we have to turn off the radars, cabin heater, instrument display. Put all the sweaters on. Uh. It's been an explosion. Oxygen tanks are gone. Two fuel cells gone. Command modules shut down. What about the crew? The crew's fine so far. Trying to Sick of all the time to have a hangover. How much power do we have to play with? Barely enough to run this coffee pot for nine hours. Go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Copy. He's here. He'd be really helpful, right? Because he's one of the guys that would be doing it, so he can. Mm-hmm. Okay. Frank, I need the sim cold and dark. Give me the exact same conditions we've got in there now. Oh, there you go. Yeah, right. And he doesn't look sick at all, does he? Yep. So he didn't get it. I don't, I don't know how long the incubation period is for. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a good several days after. Yeah. After they said he was sick. They said by the how many days up there he'd be have a fever. Gene, we have a situation brewing with the carbon dioxide. We had a CO two filter problem on the lunar module. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. What about the scrubbers on the command module? They take square cartridges. The ones on the limb are round. Jesus. So we literally have round holes and square pegs. Yeah. Well, I suggest you gentlemen invent a way to put a square peg in a round there hole. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Look, you are some of the brightest minds in the country. Straight. Figure it out. We got to find a way to make this fit into the hole for this. Using nothing but that. Uh. They're out front here and they want to put a transmitter up on the lawn. No. Fuck off and get yeah. away from my house. Yeah. I realize how hard this is, Marilyn, but the whole world is caught up in it. It's no. We're off. Yeah. This is my family. Bunch of bloodthirsty I mean, vultures. Protecting them with everything. Shielding them or Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. That's a nice one to marry. You don't look too good, Fredo. I'll survive. Yeah, he's sick. After all this, he's the one that got sick. And he threw up, remember, right away, so... Mm-hmm. It hurts when I urinate. Uh-oh. Oh. We're not getting enough water. I think old Swagger gave me the clap. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a hot mm. one at the debriefing for the flight <laughs> It's another first for America's space. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -oh. Oh, I was oh. Yeah. They had us burn too long. At this rate, we're going to skip right out of the atmosphere and we're never going to get back. That's a trouble. Yeah. If you come in too steep, you burn up and re entry. Yeah. If you come in too shallow, you yeah. bounce off like a rock on water. Yeah. And in the meantime, I'm trying to tell you we're coming in too fast. I think they know it. And I think that's why we don't have a goddamn re entry plan. That's duly right? noted. Thank you, Jack. Ow! Oh! Piece of shit's gonna get you home. All right. That's because that's the only thing we got left, Jack. Now, what are you saying, Fred? Oh, I think you know what I'm saying. Oh, dear. Okay. It wasn't his fault. 
I did what I was told to do. Stop kicking yourself in the ass. This is not my fault! No one is saying it is. Brad is. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're just going to end up right back here with the same problems. Trying to figure out how to stay alive. Where is this is Houston? See, normally it's bad enough when a bunch of guys are like a long distance road trip together, trapped in a car. Look, <laughs> trapped in a fucking space module. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's this? That's what they got to make. Look how tired that guy looks. Yeah, oh, oh God, yeah. Poor guy. Right and it's crazy that you can't show a picture. You just have to tell them so that... Matt, hold on. Okay, Jack, tear that piece of tape down the middle lengthwise. All right. Hold on, you. We didn't know we'd have to do craft day here on the... Yeah. ...on the ship. Uh-oh. Is it? Oh, remember what he said? Yep. When they get to a certain level, they'll start hallucinating and. Mm-hmm. Your judgment judgment is impaired and. Well, I'd have to say that this is the most serious situation we've ever encountered in a manned space flight. Uh, Usually, the problems are you know right on the launch pad or just after launch or. Mm-hmm. Ah. <sighs> It worked. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys get a raise. Good to hear, Aquarius. And you, sir, are a steely-eyed <laughs> missile man. <laughs> yeah, good job, dude. This is where's the team? <laughs> All passed out in the room. <laughs> yeah. With pieces of stuff everywhere. Hmm. I was going to say, Jimmy. We came to tell you something. There's been an accident. Jimmy's okay. Uh. Oh. And it's a little bit dangerous. Well, don't you worry, honey. If they could get a washing machine to fly, <laughs> my Jimmy could land it. Hmm. Good job, Grandma. Oh. Oh. Uh, things frosting over. Yeah. And Oh god, I saw the song as makes me think yeah. of Daisy. Yes. Daisy oh wow. Eh? We are. Uh, Jack, you'll be happy to hear that we contacted President Nixon and he's gonna grant you an extension <laughs> on your income tax. <laughs> your tax. You <laughs> most decidedly out of the country. Yes. <laughs> he's had I'm enough sick of and tired of the entire Western world. Knowing how my kidneys are functioning. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Flight I just lost level. <laughs> We're not gonna make a big deal out of this. You can do it, we can do it too. Yeah. Flight! <laughs> just a little medical mutiny, Doc. Uh, medical mutiny. But we are definitely shallowing it. We are up to a 5.9. Damn it. At this rate, they nicked the... Oh, that guy was Jenny's abusive boyfriend in Forrest Gump. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh, wow. The one that Forrest beat yeah. the crap out of. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good eye there. Funny they're in the same movie. Yeah. Well, now look, Houston, all we need to hold attitude is one fixed point in space. Is that not correct? Yeah. Huh? Well, Houston, we've got one. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Burn manual control. Look, it will ignite, will it not? I just want you to know the engine's never been tried like this. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Okay, I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all backwards. So if the if the Earth starts drifting down, you need to thrust aft, oh. not forward. That's like when I'm playing a game on my Xbox and they ask me to like invert the controls, oh, but like yeah. when you move like joystick down, you look yes. up. Yes. I never it's do very that. Very disorienting. It's so annoying. Yeah. Four. Oh, let's just go. Two, one. Okay. Keep her in the window. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Damn it. Six, back, seven, back, 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 back. Hold it. Eight, steady. Nine. Shut down. Whew. Let's not do that again. Oh. Uh. Knew it. I knew it. How about that limb, huh? Uh. How about it? Mm. Guess you keep your job. Huh? You betcha. <laughs> well, let's hope we don't have to do that again. This is Houston. You'll have to do that again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's this green trail. It's like a long, 
carpet that's just laid out right beneath me, and it was the algae. Oh. The phosphorescent stuff that gets churned up in the wake of a big ship. Oh. It was just leading me home. And now, hmm. if my cockpit lights hadn't shorted out, there's no way I'd have ever been able to see that, so, uh... Wow. Yeah. Turn off the lights. Reverse the flow and see if we can draw these four amps from the LEM batteries before we cut it loose. Why can't we do that? Hmm. You're going to lose a lot in the transfer, Ken. Yeah, yeah, but all we're talking about here is... Four amps, yeah. Mm-hmm. They only need four, right? Mm -hmm. Fine so far. You're under the limit. Keep going. Okay. Floodlights to fixed. So he's powering up all the things they need and seeing if they stay under. Yeah. The red line is what they have? Yeah. That's the limit. <laughs> How do we look? I did it. <laughs> John? <laughs> uh huh. I think we got it, buddy. Ooh. We need a drink. Mm hmm. Are the flowers blooming in Houston? Uh, that's a negative, Jim. Uh, I yeah. don't have the measles. Yeah. <laughs> Blanche, these nice young men are going to watch the television with you. This is Neil Armstrong and this is Buzz Aldrin. Uh, holy shit! Yeah. Are you boys in the space program too? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Every time he reaches for something, we're scared now. Oh, he's afraid, right? Because of yeah. what happened last time. Okay. Way to go, Jack. Mm. Mm. Yay, he bonding. Was frustrated when he, yeah. Panel five, circuit breaker, <laughs> caution and warning. Main B, closed. Main B. Yeah, I wonder where they filmed it, eh? Yeah. Because I know, like, for astro astronauts training, that, like, you can, like, take a plane, just shoot it straight down, and, yeah. and that simulates weightlessness and things yeah, floating. Yeah, but... But for like extended film shoots, I wonder. Well, what movie of... did we watch that was in space or something? Remember in the. Oh, well, was it like Gravity, right? Where is it with Sandra Bullock? Mm -hmm. Or at least similar scenario. Yeah. Uplink completed. Huh? Yeah. That's more like. Oh, okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Houston, we're getting our first look at the service module now. Uh, One whole damn. side of the spacecraft is missing. Look like it got the engine bell, too. Can you see that? Yeah, pretty extensive, yeah. you know. Yeah. In New York City, thousands of people have gathered to watch updates of the mission in Times Square. Many countries offered help, and the State Department said... It's neat how they use some re all the real stuff, eh? Yeah. As long as I have to. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, come on. A little while longer, Fred. Yeah. yeah, it's not like they have a blanket or... You're gonna hit that water in the South Pacific. Be warm, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a cool the way they did that, eh? Yeah. She's looking up and he's looking down. Stand by, Houston. We have lunar module jettison. Okay. There we go. Must be a lot of stuff floating around up there, eh? There's a shit All ton these of different missions and stuff. Debris from old satellites and. Yeah. Flight, they're still showering a bit up there. Do you want to tell them? Is there anything we could do about it? Not now, Flight. And they don't need to know, do they? Copy that. Good. Yeah. This could be the worst disaster NASA's ever experienced. With all due respect, sir, mm. I believe this is going to be our finest hour. Let's not give up. Yeah, I'll just yeah. move away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Gentlemen, it's been a privilege flying with you. Hmm. Is this when we hear the the violin music from Titanic? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Eh? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, jeez. It's raining in a spaceship. <laughs> Already airborne, circling, waiting for first radar contact. Three minutes. 
Look at all the people on their lawn. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. If it doesn't, there'll only be silence. Mommy, you're squishing me. <laughs> <laughs> Odyssey Houston, do you read me? Odyssey, this is Houston, do you read? Odyssey, this is Houston, do you read me? Odyssey. It's like on The Martian when they were picking up yes. Watney, you know, yeah. the, the whole world Waiting is like him to... holding its breath. Yeah, because nothing will come through if they burn up, right? Yeah, they'll just be wreckage, you know. Huh? Hello, Houston. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need someone to start throwing papers yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> we don't often see him cry, hey? Yep. <laughs> they did it. Yeah. They brought home the bacon. <laughs> That's <right>. oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot in there now. Yeah. Open the door. He was never heat. So cold. <laughs> Yeah, I remember going to see a talk by Chris Hadfield. Oh, he right, described, yeah. He described Our Canadian astronaut, yeah. Yeah, he described re-entry. He said, think of it like sitting in a bathtub on top of a semi-truck, racing down the highway, oh. and all of a sudden someone kicks the tub off of the trailer, oh. <laughs> and then you come into land. Wow. That's the sensation. <laughs> Our mission was called a successful failure, in that we returned <laughs> safely but never made it to the moon. Fred Hayes was going back to the moon on Apollo 18, oh. but his mission was canceled because of budget cuts. He never mm. flew in space again. Yeah. Nor did Jack Swigert, who left the astronaut corps and was elected to Congress from the state of Colorado. Wow. Damn. But he died of cancer before he was able to take office. Oh. Aww. Ken Mattingly orbited the moon as command module pilot of Apollo 16 and flew the space shuttle, having never gotten the measles. <laughs> Gene Kranz retired as director of flight operations just not long ago. I watched other men walk on the moon and return safely, all from the confines of mission control and our house in Houston. I look up at the moon. When will we be going back? And who will that be? Good movie, eh? Oh, so good. Oh. Tracy Reiner. Gene Spiegel Howard. Oh! So, so his mom played Tom Hanks' mom. mom. Oh, for heaven's sake. I was wondering about that. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, we've heard oh. about her over the years, right? And That's so cool. His mom who loved Christmas so much. and Yeah. yeah. Apollo 13. Yeah, that was so good. That was a hell of a good movie. Yeah, I hadn't remembered a lot of it. I mean, obviously the, you know, the problem and coming back, but not all yeah. the details and stuff, because it was just so well done with yeah mixing in the the actual footage and yes all kinds of all the yeah. new, you know, the the news broadcasts and because mm -hmm. you know one of the most ironically it became one of the most televised events in history so yes. you have a lot of footage to work with and which is funny they started out with nothing right they weren't even televising like, any of well it. we've we've been to the moon that, that's yeah, old news that's you old know? news yeah <laughs> until something's wrong and then they're all interested it's only one of the greatest scientific accomplishments of human history you know yeah. us being able to take a person up to the moon you know yeah and like for perspective, like you know, like going there, coming right back took a week. And right. the, the moon the moon is like, you know, for perspective, it's like, you know, this is Earth. Yeah. Moon is like right here. Yeah. Relatively speaking. But it took, yeah. So it's just like That's how long, eh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, Tom Hanks, everyone did so well. You know, yeah. Kevin Bacon, it's always fun to see him and mm -hmm. Gary Sinise and it's like a murderer's row of great yes. like, 90s stars. Absolutely. You yeah. Know, Ron Howard always gets good good stars in his his movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well and just the you know, what, what did we say? This was in the 90s? 95. Yeah, for it to be, right? The, I mean, moon, everything looked space. It the production quality, so yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, there was just like maybe one or two shots when they were boarding the, the rocket at the beginning, like at Cape Canaveral, when, oh. when, when like the CG didn't quite look as yeah. polished, but yeah. the rest of the movie looked great. Yes. So yeah. I'm willing to bet that they used at least some footage from just like from the, they've taken from like satellites oh, or yeah. from other astronauts yeah, over the years. You know, yeah, we've had, right. we've had photographs of the Earth for a good, you know, four or five decades by this mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. 
And then it was really cool, but a, a nice touch at the end when we kind of got like, where are they now? Yes. Epilogue. I was, yeah. I was love getting that with like real people. To like when, what happened. When I mean, we, we can look it up and see, but well, it's nice too, to give it. Yeah. Just kind of like a cliff notes. Yeah. Like, oh, like this person went here, this person went here. And yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like Kevin Bacon, you know, or like too bad he died of cancer, his character. And, you know, after like being kind of like the underdog being yeah. say, like part of the backup crew, rise to the occasion and. Yeah, you know, wish but... you were here. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, of... and for that split second of, you know, I mean, Lovell never said, never no. blamed him at no. all. He knows. He just flipped, whoever's in the chair flipped the switch. Exactly. What could he have possibly done? Right? But there was, you know, there was even when like the first leg of the trip before everything went wrong, there was like one or two moments when Bill Paxton kind of mm-hmm. gave him the side eye. And yes, it's, you yeah. know, I've had that before where like, let's say either a work or maybe stuff at school where it's like, me and, and X number of people, we're like a group. You yeah. know, we sort of get to know yeah. each other. We do stuff together. And it's like we sort of have this sort of identity or whatever. Mm-hmm. Usually what happens is in, in the, those cases, like let's say a new person comes in. Yeah. No matter how well they integrate, in the back of my mind, I always thought of them as an outsider. A replacement. Yeah. 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 So yeah. so I can, I can definitely understand his like reservations because it's like you, you work with a guy, you know the guy, well, you like said. the guy. We know each other's rhythms and the, the sounds of our voices if something's different or whatever. Right? But but like even with like Kevin Bacon, mm-hmm. where it's like we know him, we like him, we work with him. Mm-hmm. But because he replaced our guy, yeah. there's almost that sort of there's that thing in the back of, of your mind that... That he's not really a whole part of the team, even though, yeah. But and they, he got over that quickly, yes, luckily, and yeah. you know he was sick and everything too. So it's just so funny that one other guy got sick, and and the guy that they I kept know it's down. I like how we looked over at the pl- the doctor. The do- yeah, so there was the doctor, and then there was that guy who kept saying, "Look, this isn't rated for this. this yeah. is, we built it for this. Look, calm down. You'll you'll keep your job." He's yeah. like, "Ooh, thankful. Like that's yeah. all we cared about. Like this, those two guys, you know." Yeah. And then he was like all whooping it up when it worked. Eh? He's yeah. like, I knew it. I knew it. Could yeah, do this. Yeah. Like, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then, yeah, like Ed, Ed Harris was one of the standouts too. Uh, like, I, I love how like he just kind of commanded the room. Like whenever, yes. he, like he never had to raise his voice. No, but right. he, whenever he talked, people quieted down. Mm-hmm. When he did yell in frustration, the whole, everyone stopped and yeah. looked at him. Like, I love how they just established yeah. like how much authority he has you know yeah with just his presence yeah and how much they respect him right yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah a lot of good stars a lot of really good kind of emotional moments just because they draw out that whole like you know like them being out of contact and then they show like the crowd the family members who are like oh, thinking their God. loved ones are dead they draw that out just enough so that it's it's very triumphant yes. you know an ending yeah. for when Everything finally comes through, and yeah, just seeing like the whole you know crew of the aircraft carrier. And... Well, what an incredible story! Like a yeah. real story that what they did and how they got them back. I mean, any little thing, any other which way, mm-hmm. and they'd have been dead, right? Like, like you everybody said, worked together, and like you said, like you know, like half the PhDs in the country are working yeah. on this right now. Like thousands of people, like each 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 crew has all these support staff and all these yeah. support staff have other people and yeah. seeing all these different right. teams and like, you know, like one guy staying up for two days to make like a bag so that they mm. can breathe or just like, you know, seeing like how exhausted yeah. they all were. And, yeah. And it's just kind of fun seeing all those but different, it, you know, they know it all reflects back. Like he's, he's the one guy said, right. It's going to be the worst d- disaster in NASA history. Mm. And then I love when Ed, Ed Harris was just like, he, he never really, lost faith you know because he said I- i've never lost an astronaut in space i don't attend mm-hmm. to now or he's yeah. like when the other guy was like you know this could be your biggest disaster he's like no this will be our finest hour yeah like he never doubted no at all yeah so that was really cool to see yeah, yeah. so apollo 13 yes. ladies and gents you know i can see why this this is you know such a beloved movie definitely one of the best like space mo- mm-hmm. astronaut movies out there yeah you get all like so many you know hard-hitting performances a lot of a lot of great actors this is a really memorable movie yes hopefully you you guys enjoyed as well thank you for joining us Mm -hmm. if you want to watch the full length of our reaction i'll put a link down to our patreon below check out this and all the other movies and shows that we do a lot of exclusives aren't on youtube so check those out if you enjoyed please like and subscribe it really helps us it helps Mm -hmm. the channel grow yes and uh yeah that's all we have for you today so we will see you later bye guys bye